na nitakuwa serikalini na sitatoka serikalini niko na William Samoe Ruto Media. My name is Bonfessor Weno, and as usual, I'm going to be your host for today. Now, William Samuel Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, just immediately after appointing or after nominating uh, Alias Sanjoho to become one of the CSS, uh, he took advantage of uh, that and now started his traveling uh, to Mombasa County, that is in the coastal region. And uh, today, he met with the, he met in Kilifi, where where he was talking about the, the issue of Aisha Juma. That is what I want us to talk about. And uh, what really happened, what really shocked me is that uh, the governor of, of Mombasa, that is uh, Nasir, did not spare anybody. And there is something that he told uh, the, the so known, uh, Mohammed, the so known as uh, Jichopevu. Uh, when Jichopevu was saying that I'm going to buy a wheelbarrow tomorrow, he told Jichopevu face to face that uh, you are talking about buying a wheelbarrow. And don't forget that I'm an ODM, a strong ODM ally. And one thing I'm going to do is that instead of pushing the wheelbarrow without eating anything, I'm going to buy you oranges so that you can eat and get energy uh, to push your wheelbarrow. Listen to this. Nikimalizia your excellency, nilimsikia moha hapa kisema ya kwa kesho kutu anaenda kununua wheelbarrow. Na mina muambia badli ya kununua wheelbarrow Mimi kama Abdusuwa Matsharif Nasir ni mwana wa ODM na mimi nitakununulia machungwa uweze kupata vitamini uweze kusukuma wilbaro yako Asanteni sana na mubarikiwe At the same time the governor told uh, the president of the Republic of Kenya that he should be truthful to his word he should stand firm and say what he can do Your Excellency Mimi nimekusikia na nimemsikia party leader wangu Raila Molo Odinga kilizungumza hili. Ni lazima wale waloweza kuumia katika msukamano wa maandamano wawe compensated. Wale waloweza kuuliwa na kuumizwa katika maandamano wawe compensated. Ni lazima your excellency wale polisi walofanya wao ni kichwa kigumu wakawanyima haki za watu wachukuliwa hatua zile ambazo kwamba zinahitajika as we speak development development cannot move without movement of politics hawa watu wote your excellency tunaomba zile kesi za wale walikuwa wameshikwa kiolela olela kwa sababu wanaandamana be true to your word and i know that you will do it Drop those cases zawale ambao kwamba walioko pale. Now this is what shock, really shocked me in this in, in the whole of this scenario. Aisha Juma was given opportunity to speak. And uh, when Aisha Juma spoke there is something that Aisha Juma said that uh, really caught my attention. I've, and I've been asking myself this question. That uh, is Aisha Juma in the government? Or what is the stand of Aisha Juma? Or what is the wh where the, where is Aisha Juma? Because Aisha Juma is saying very well that those who are calling her, telling her that uh, she has been left, let the people know that she she has never she is not left, that she is in the government and she is the government to stay. Nataka ni wambie wali ambao wananipigia pigia simu ati ni meachwa na rice mimi siko soko mimi siko soko. Mimi niliunda serikali hii na niko ndani ya serikali na nitakuwa serikalini na sitatoka serikalini niko na William Samoe Ruto maana nilimwamini na ninamwamini kwa hivyo siko soko simu nyingi punguzeni asante and she goes ahead and says that uh, what William Ruto can see while seated she cannot see while standing 
that uh, I thank Ruto for giving me an opportunity to serve as a CS. I believe in him. What Ruto can see when seated, I cannot see even when standing. These are the qualities of incompetent leaders that we had. This one, remember this one, this is one of the CSs. So when she when she's saying that uh, I, uh, when what Ruto can see while seated, I cannot see while standing. It means that she what she was doing while the CS, she was doing the she was doing them with the direction of William Samaruto. And now this is what William Ruto is saying that as I told you, I will sort out Aisha Juma and make sure she she takes part in our government because she is a brave woman my sister who has stood with me and i will stand with her <laughs> there is a, a game here aisha juma is very sure she is sure that she is still in the government even after being fired as a cs william ruto is also saying that is also saying that in as, the way the way aisha juma stood with me i will also stand with her and i will not let her down so it means that there is a place that William Ruto is preparing for Aisha Juma. We don't know the place, but we, we, what I know is that there is something that Aisha Juma is, uh, that William Ruto is preparing for Aisha Juma. But now time will tell. I would like us to wait and see what is going to happen. There are a lot of things that the president have said in the coastal region. And right now is when William Ruto is, is remembering that uh, there is need for unity. And I've told you that William Ruto now is taking advantage of uh, the CS, the nominated CSS. And William Ruto is, and I told you this yesterday, that William Ruto is, wants to take this advantage and he wants to walk all over the country right now. He's a free man. He can go to coastal the way, the way he has gone to coastal. He's yet to go to western. And let us now wait for the warm, wel warm welcome. He's going to go to, to Nyamira County. Let us now wait. That is in, uh, the, in Kisi. Let us wait for the warm welcome. He's going to go to Nyanza. Let us now wait for the warm, warm welcome. Why? Because he's going to take advantage of, the, of nominating the CSS that comes from those regions. And if you look at, if you're very keen, those are the strongholds of Raila Monodinga. Nataka ni waulize wa Kenya. Ni waulize viongozi wa Kenya. Sasa ni wakati mwafaka wa kuungana, kufanya kazi pamoja, kuwaunganisha wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya. Ndiyo sababu mimi juzi nimeunda serikali ya kuunganisha wa Kenya. Nikasema wa Kenya wote waungane ndani ya serikali ya taifa letu la Kenya. Tuweze kushugulika na mambo ya maendeleo. Tuweze kupanga vile ajira tutapata kwa hawa vijana. Vile tutapanua biashara. Tuile tutaendesha kilimo na uvuvi. Tuweze kubadilisha taifa letu la Kenya. Na wauliza nyinyi watu wa Mombasa na Pwani. Muna kubaliana na mimi tuunde serikali ya kuunganisha wa Kenya wote. Ebu nione wala wanasema tunakubali, tunakubali, tunakubali. Ni sawa hiyo. Mume mpatia ruhusa ali Hassan Joe afanye kazi na mimi kama waziri wa taifa letu la Kenya. Mume nipatia sali mvuri ya asimamie mambo ya biashara na investment katika taifa letu la Kenya. Hawa wangwana wawili kutoka pwani. Mimi niko na imani kwao. Huyu Salim Vuria alisimamia sekta hii ya uchumi samawati kwa ustadi mkubwa. Mimi naelewa na najua ya kwamba joho watakuja kufanya hivyo hivyo. Pia sasa nimempatia huyu Salim Vuria majukumu ya kusimamia mambo ya biashara, mambo ya industrialization ama viwanda na mambo ya investment katika taifa letu la Kenya. Kazi yake muhimu ni kuhakikisha kwamba dongo kundu inafanya kazi na ajira zinapatikana katika dongo kundu special economic zone vile nilivyosema wakati tulikuwa katika mambo ya campaign As Raila Odinga is preparing now for his new journey to campaign for for serious, for serious campaign that is starting from next month for a serious campaign to become the chairman of African Union William Ruto has gained momentum once more, but as one of the one of the one one lawyer said yesterday, that uh, they've just been added. Bringing William, bringing ODM party or bringing Raila Odinga in the government is just adding the, is just just like adding them two more hours to breathe. Because what Kenyans had said is that they are tired with this government, and the Gen Zs have declared that there is going to be nane nane. We don't know what they are planning. Maybe the, that one is going to be now the mass 
demonstration, the demonstration of all demonstrations, now that they are going to make sure that Ruto quits or Ruto is taken out of parliament, out of government, out of governance. And uh, I saw it yesterday that uh, there is this group, uh, there is this group of uh, the, the concerned movement. The concerned movement yesterday uh, filed a petition that uh, wants William Ruto together with the deputy Rigade Gashagwa to quit the office or to resign because the way they have been ruling and the, what they've been doing for the country is not necessary. All I had for today, I don't know what you think. I also like to know what you think uh, concerning this at the comment section. And as a reminder, if you made it for the first time, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. You can also like and drop me a comment and tell me where you're watching us from and how these videos are reaching you. As I normally say, that feedback is normally the key thing in informal communication. Until we meet again in the next video, if it is possible, I've been your host, Bonfessor. We know. Bye bye.